Hi children, a warm welcome to the new academic year. Hope all of you are fine. How is your vacation? Do you enjoyed it? I think you spent it efficiently by learning and playing. Children, you know that our society is facing a lot of problems now. COVID-19, a pandemic spread all over the world. So we have to pray to the God to overcome this situation. But as a child, it's very precious time for you. Don't waste the time. Learn well, children. Attend all the vacation classes. Attend all the online classes. We can pray for a better tomorrow. Children, in the last year, you were in fourth standard. During that time, you have learned a subject, Environmental Studies, EVS. But this year, you have two separate subjects, Social Science and Basic Science. I am Windy teacher, teaching Social Science. Then what is Social Science? Social science is the scientific study about human society and the social relationship. Children, why do we study this social science? The study of social science is very important because it helps us to learn about the society we live in. Today we can discuss about our second chapter from stone to metal. What is the chapter from stone to metal? In this chapter, we are going to learn about the life of the man from stone age to metal age. Stone age to metal age. Children, many many years ago, human beings lived in forest. They wandered here and there. They lived in caves. They hunted animals. They ate the raw fruits and vegetables. At that time, they don't know how to read and write. They don't know alphabets. This period is known as prehistoric period. Prehistoric period. Prehistoric period is the period before the formation of art of writing. It is the period before the formation of art of writing. Can you imagine the life of human beings in the forest? There were different types of animals. You know the name of animals, no? Elephant, tiger, bison, etc. The human beings were afraid of these animals. They don't have a gigantic body like that of an elephant. They don't have sharp claws like that of a tiger. And they don't have the strength like that of a bison. So they were afraid of animals. In order to protect from the attack of animals, they don't have any weapons in their hand. Then, what they may use at that time? That is, stones were the materials used by the early men to protect from the enemies or to protect from the attack of animals. Stone plays a very important role in their life. This age is also known as Stone Age. Prehistoric period is also known as Stone Age. Age. Stone Age was divided into Paleolithic Age, Neolithic, Mesolithic Age and Neolithic Age. First division Paleolithic Age. Paleolithic is derived from the Greek word Paleos and Lithos. Paleos means Old and lithos means stone. Children, listen here. Paleos means old and lithos means stone. So this age is also known as old stone age. Old stone age. Next, Mesolithic age. Mesolithic age is also derived from the Greek word Mesos and Lithos. Mesos and Lithos. Mesos means middle and Lithos means stone. So this period is known as Middle Stone Age. Middle Stone Age. Next division. Neolithic Age 
Neolithic age is derived from the Greek word neos and lithos. Neos and lithos. Neos means new. And lithos means stone. So this age is also known as new stone age. Children, is it clear for you? We have learned about the divisions during the Stone Age, Paleolithic Age, Mesolithic Age, and Neolithic Age. Mesolithic Age is derived, pa sorry, Paleolithic Age is derived from the Greek word Paleos and Lithos. Paleos means old and Lithos means stone. So this age is known as Old Stone Age. Mesolithic Age is derived from the Greek word Mesos and Lithos. Mesos means middle and lithos means stone. So this age is known as middle stone age because it is in the middle of Paleolithic age and Neolithic age. Next, Neolithic age is derived from uh, Neos and lithos. Neos means new and lithos means stone. So this age is known as new stone age. These are the main divisions during the stone age period. Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age and Neolithic Age. Children, next we are going to learn Paleolithic Age. It is also known as Old Stone Age. Paleolithic Age or Old Stone Age. You have to learn the spelling correctly. What is the spelling of Paleolithic Age? P A L A E O L I T H I C. Paleolithic Age. It is also known as Old Stone Age. During this period, people lived in forest. The early men lived in forest and this age is considered as the longest period in the stone age. Compared to Neolithic age and Mesolithic age, Paleolithic age is the longest period. And during the Paleolithic age, they lived in caves. People lived in caves. They hunted animals. They wandered here and there. That means they were nomadic people. Uh, they, uh, they wandered from place to place uh, in search of food and shelter. At, this, at the Paleolithic age, agriculture did not develop. They, they don't have any houses to live. They live in the caves and uh, the branches of trees during this period. And during the Paleolithic age, the lifespan of the people is very low. That is about 25 years. They lived almost about 25 years. And during this period, they invented fire. That is a great development in the Paleolithic period. Invention of fire. They invented fire. Then during the Paleolithic age, mainly they have used rough stones. That means that there is no particular shape for the stones. They did not uh, sharpen it. They did not polish it. They used uh, rough stones. Paleolithic age, they used uh, rough stones. Children, during the Paleolithic age, they ate raw fruits, vegetables, and they hunted the animals and ate the raw meat. They don't know how to cook the food. Then we learned that during the Paleolithic age, the rough stones were used by them. For what purpose they used the rough stones? To hunt animals, to dig up edible tubers from the soil, for slicing the flesh of animals. They hunted the animals, they killed the animals and they removed the skin of the animals with the help of these rough stones. Uh, these were the use of rough stones used by the people during the Paleolithic age. Children, you know that how the early man invented fire. When the fire broke out in the forest, the early man was afraid. But later, they rubbed two stones called flint and they produced spark. Like that, they invented the fire. For what purpose they used this fire? To scare away the animals. And it also provide light for them. 